and here's the news you missed last night while you were sleeping. Arizona State Troopers closed part of a Scottsdale highway where a police officer was killed Tuesday night. He was later identified as Officer Clayton Townsend. He worked for the Salt River Police Department, which provides law enforcement services to a Native American community in the area. Officials say Townsend was struck by a vehicle while on a traffic stop involving a different vehicle. It is not clear what that stop was for. Officer Townsend leaves behind a wife and a 10-month-old child. Having active duty troops on the border is getting more expensive. Two U.S. defense officials say the price tag is expected to be $132 million by the end of the month. That's $10 million more than a previous estimate that was revised after an internal review by the Department of Defense. This new total has already been given to Congress. The officials also say the deployment of National Guard Operation Guardian Support is expected to cost $308 million by the end of fiscal year 2019. In Thailand, the UNHCR has referred the case of Saudi teenager Rahaf Mahalid Alkunin to Australia for consideration for refugee resettlement. The teen made headlines around the world earlier this week after barricading herself in a hotel room and then trying to claim asylum. The 18-year-old says if set home, her family would kill her for breaking Islamic law. After posting her pleas on social media, the young woman is now under UN protection while her asylum claim is processed. And take a look at this terrifying dash cam video shows the moment a freeway sign crushes a moving car on Melbourne's Tula Marine Freeway on Tuesday. The 53-year-old female driver suffered minor neck injuries and was taken to the Royal Melbourne Hospital. And thankfully, she is in stable condition. And guess what, everyone? Today is National Apricot Day. The firm, smooth flesh of the apricot is similar to that of its popular relative, the peach. But unlike the peach, the apricot is perhaps most widely recognized in its dried form. Dried apricots are a staple in lunch boxes and trail mix bags nationwide, but they're more than just a snack food. They're a versatile fruit utilized by chefs all over the world. You can dry them or can them, eat them fresh off the tree, or cook them up in a wide variety of recipes. And on top of all of that, they're nutritious, so they're actually good for you. A cup of apricots has 60% of the daily allowance of vitamin A and 26% of the daily allowance of vitamin C. And that's just some of the news you may have missed while you were sleeping. Why don't we toss things over to meteorologist Marcus Beasley with our weather. How's well, it going? It's going good. <laughs> it's going good. Since good. we're talking about fruit, what's your favorite fruit? Ooh, my favorite fruit in the summertime is watermelon. Okay. I love watermelon. All right, that's a good choice. Wow, what's yours? I like pretty much any type of yeah. citrus fruit, whether it's an orange, a tangerine, yeah, those are grapefruit. Good yeah. Um, yeah, I love those. Lemons. I even eat lemons. I love lemons. Straight With up. Everything. Just, everything. Just, just the lemon. I'll just take a bite out of. Yeah. I'm uh, the obnoxious person at the restaurant who takes all, asks for all the lemons yep, to put in all uh, my food. I do the same thing. makes name. everything better. But no, I eat the lemon though. Oh. I don't just put it on things. I'll, I, I'll eat so the lemon. you're just a weirdo then. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I like sour <laughs> things. I like sour things. <laughs> just kidding. That's not weird. It's actually probably really good for you. So. I don't know about that. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about the weather, Marcus. Well, taking a look outside today, we are going to see some clouds out there. A high temperature of 40 degrees, so things are going to be a little above average today. More details after the break. You can never really know.